Well, we're doing it again. Another video. Right, Squints? <laughs> Who's here? What are we doing? Working on the starlet. Oh, yeah. Working on the starlet. Who's starlet? The owner of Honky Tonk. That's the white truck. We've nicknamed that Honky Tonk because it's the urban cowboy's truck. You wouldn't expect Al to be driving that. Go interview Al. Shut up. So. Damn, dude, these boards on this trailer, we gotta help you out here. They're looking a little sketch. These things are a little sus. Brand new. What are you talking about? This is brand new. Oh my god. People pay money. Oh my god. To get wood to look this weather. Yes, they do. They pay money to bring it to the junkyard. <laughs> So uh, you guys have seen this car before on the on the channel. If you scroll back a little ways, what was it last year? Yeah. About this time last year, went to a rental. So uh, it saw it go very slow. Yeah, it didn't do too well. So and, uh, we had a lot of small issues. Yeah, we had a. Uh, but you, but you no, you redeemed yourself because you went back yeah. after fixing, and we're fixing that again today, actually, right? That's that fuel pump. The fuel pump. Yeah, we got to fix the fuel pump. So the fuel pump started leaking on us. Oh, I remember that. Yes. And, uh, yes, my, and that ended our day that time. Yeah. Temporary permanent fix was to zip tie some racks. Yeah. Oh my God, I remember yeah. that. Let's create a Molotov cocktail in the back of the car <laughs> where the fuel pump was dripping. Sure. I remember that. So good, Al. Yeah, <laughs> yeah really good. Perfect. So, uh, what, 83 Starlet? Is that what it is? Yeah. 82 Starlet. 82 Starlet. Little small block, conventional small block. Uh, little I could drive this little car. Little nitrous. Yeah, Ricky could probably drive this car. What's the wheelbase? Like 42 inches? <laughs> I think it's started with a small block 289. I thought it was 283. Okay, 283. Right. Unless, double, oh, wait, wait, wait. Well, double hump who's your buddy that was at the track that last time you were racing with the four-door Chevelle? Edwin. Edwin? Eddie, Eddie. Eddie. So, if Eddie's watching this, it's a 265 out of a 55 Chevy. Straight six. Straight six. That sounds even better. It's a four-cylinder, original. Original four-cylinder. Three-quarter cam. Three-quarter race cam, hollowed race cam. It's hollowed. So we're we're getting it ready for uh, Ralph and Scotty's no time, no racing event at Lebanon Valley Dragway, September 13th. So I thought it was no time, no rules. I'm sorry. Uh, what did I say? You said no time, no oh. racing. <laughs> <laughs> it's early. Last night was a long night. My dog ate it. So, my dog ate a uh, a towel earlier in the day. He decided to throw that towel up at two in the morning, uh, multiple times. Then my daughter got up. She wouldn't go back to bed. So there was a window of from two to about four thirty in the morning, as I'm trying to fall back asleep. Finally, the dog settled. My daughter settled, and then my wife decides to snore. <laughs> She has a problem. <laughs> <laughs> well, I do too. Everybody does once in a while. But either way, it was just one of those. So yeah, it was tough. So no time, no rules. Uh, you can you can follow them on Facebook. No time, no rules racing. They have a September thirteenth rental. It's an afternoon. I think it's one to eight at Lebanon Valley. So even if you want to go watch, I think it's minimal to go and watch as far as a spectator fee to walk you know through the door but we're trying to get it ready because we need to test it is a nitrous motor Al, uh, oh, we're yeah. not 100 sure on the nitrous system right now we have to kind of go through some stuff so stay tuned hang out let's get this thing off the trailer
2016. New York. New York. New York. So we're not going to be able to, can we show under the hood? Doesn't matter, right? Yeah, it's nothing, it's junk. Yeah. Everyone knows it's junk. It's just, you can, uh, it's a light car. Oh yeah, it's a light car, yeah. I mean, it's not like super light, but it's light. That's not good. It would, it would, I would put a good battery. Yep. And I still, after a while, would have to give it a boost. Really? Yeah. Did you ever put a, anything on the alternator to see if it charged? Yeah, we'll just we'll put I was one of those. Uh, is that something I, things where we got to make sure it charges because you could have a bad problem with without enough voltage. Yeah. So yeah. big, the biggest thing today is we are going to fix uh, some of the wiring. And nitrous. And we're going to change the 1987 cheater solenoids to some newer solenoids and a newer plate that I have. And we're going to jet it so that we're, uh, everything's a little better with the jet situation. Where's your purge on this thing anyways? Oh, I got you. Yep. Okay. And that still works fine, right? That still works fine. Okay, so we'll just leave that away. Oh, I see you're purging off of a Y. Where are you purging? Oh, so your oh, I see your nitrous actually comes in and then it goes. I got you. I mean, look, I was. What do you What do you have on this? This, this is, motor was done. Let's do. 18 years ago. It goes to this one. That just runs under. Oh, you got two kits? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, we're going to change that just to one. Yes. Yeah. I forgot you had two kits on this. I'm looking at it going, why is there a Y there? And the cable always, it's got to be because of the location and, and how uh, it binds. Yeah, how, it's like a little... Cause to, you have to really mat it, and then it, it, after a while it starts to fray. Well, here you know what we're gonna do. We're gonna we're gonna pop this off anyways right now, and then you're gonna go inside, and you're gonna see how the, how free how much how the cable runs, how how free it runs, because it might not be that. It might be your linkage over your bike binding. You can still pull, like, pull it. Yeah, you can still feel it like. Well, I can feel it. Inside, it's like, like it's yeah, I can feel it like. Yes, that. So, you feel that? And it's always been new cable. Is that I got to look at the angle on the pedal. I just got to see if the angle on the pedal is right. If it, how it how it is. Because it's almost like it's binding because of an area of the cable that's a little funny. Yeah, see, like right there. See how it's starting to cut into the cable? Mm -hmm. That'll cause a problem. So that we definitely got to fix. We'll change out the cable. Make sure you got full, open, wide open throttle too. <clears throat> this car's been together for a long time. 18 years. Cause yeah. I, I moved, I moved back in, moved here back in 2017. Yeah. And the motor was in a Buick Regal yeah. prior right. to that. Yeah. So it's it gotta be 18, 19 years, if not 20. Wow. And this was the car Joe did, right? This is the yes. Yeah, he did. He did the chassis. The cage and the chassis. Yeah. Yep. He just he didn't touch the the actual back half, the square tubing. Yeah, that was already in it. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. Just Remember, who won that 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 uh cool when we did the how much it weighs at Joe's? Was it you? Oh damn, that's right. I forgot about that. It was you? I think it was that one. That was a long time ago. Yeah, it was a long time ago. That was 15... How did it be? What year was that? Your son was... My, my son was born in 2007. He had to be about three, so it's got to be about 2010. Yeah, so that's about 14, 15, almost 15 years. Yeah. Wow! And this motor was together before that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. Man, this is so old. And that's when, you know, at that time, everyone was... And this is old school. Like, oh, yeah. Do we have to adjust valves? Have you ever touched them? I've never touched them. 
No. No. Uh, but yeah, at, at the time, <coughs> everyone was spending 10, 15, 17, 20 grand on a motor to make their G bodies run quick. Oh yeah. And I was like, well, this is a this is a good grudge motor because it's steel headed. My my thing was, I, I don't see me even if I had the 15, 20 grand to spend on a motor. If it blows, I would have to spend another five, seven to get that motor back up. Yep. Where I decided to spend that, you know, 17, 18 into the lighter body yeah. and chassis yeah. and get a junkyard motor. That way, if the junkyard motor goes, I can get another junkyard motor. Yeah. But now my mind's changing where if this one lets go, you know what I'm going to do, right? I know. Yeah, I know. Could, there's, nothing, there's nothing wrong with junkyard. Uh, you could blame Tyrone. Two eighty threes, junkyard two eighty threes. No, uh, I'm pretty sure it's not really a junkyard motor, considering some of the parts that are on it. What are you but it's about? definitely a steel headed motor. What you talking about, Willis? I don't know what you talking about. I Sounds don't, good. Don't listen to what he's saying. That's because there's a hole in the exhaust. Oh, it's got opening. That's right. It's got a hole in the exhaust. It's rotted out exhaust manifold. Rotted out exhaust. But don't listen to him. Oh he yeah. He doesn't know what he's talking about. Oh. Oh, good parts, me, Al, this is Al, a.k.a. Five Points Slow. You go to order good parts now. Five Points Slow? It's Amazon. No. Dude, we got to clean your windshield. Oh, my God. Windshield, we got to change it. Oof. Yeah, Lexi We got to change it. I got it. But then I looked at what, how much Lexan costs, and I was like, yeah, that could wait. Okay. That, that is in rough shape. Oh, you got to see the glare in it. I know. On your inside, the glare is absolutely horrendous. But when you're going, you know, 70, 70 miles per hour down the track, it doesn't really matter. 70? Yeah, 70. I thought this I thing was faster. Well, we still got to clean the actual, uh, like, it looks like. A lot of scratch marks. Well, no, there's stains on it. There's stains. Those are, yeah, that's. And remember, it sat in the garage when I was, it was uncovered. I was doing oh, painting I, work. That's yeah. Sad, and, and painting and. I was doing all oh yes, you yeah. painted your car, car, and yeah. this was like buried. Dude, it's, mm -hmm. it's horrible. It almost seems like, is that the inside? What is that? Hold on, let me try something else. It wouldn't be me if it was perfect. Glass cleaner won't work, it's not glass. I remember, well, I took a like video, it. I took a video of me driving in the truck, and Carrie goes, dude, how about cleaning your windows? I said, no matter how much cleaning I'm gonna do, these windows are stain stains. I can't, nothing can be done. Yeah. But I know every time he sees a video of me driving in the truck from inside, he's got like. Which truck? This the, uh -huh. the international. Oh, the international. Oh, the international. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, don't it, I just don't want to. They sell new windows. On eBay. All, all new windows, but I don't want it. Cordic glass, I don't want it. Yeah, because of the original. We could buy, we could buy the. The sheet. I need them for my car too. You need plexiglass? Again, like Lexan? I checked the price on Lexan. I'm not doing that. I don't need it that bad. There's like stains all over the window. And um, I got a friend who might be uh, taking his factory windshield and mechanism out of his Starlink. Oh, that would be nice. Put a factory glass in it. Yes. Yeah. So that is, I'm waiting to get word. I mean, I got a guy that does glass. I could probably get cheap glass, honestly. You do? Yeah. Because I, I can't even think of a way to make it where we can Because this is just a glued in, they're just originally glued in and then it has a trim that goes over it, right? Well, you don't care about trim, right? Yeah. You just need a windshield glued in. It's an Al's car. I can't, the stains are horrendous, dude. Put a trip, you try to put lipstick on a pig. Oh, I know. I'm just looking at it going over. It's still a pig with bright red lipstick. I mean, it's still going to be like going 13 seconds of course. That's what I'm saying. 70 miles per hour at the top end? Actually? Yeah, 70, maybe 72. That's at the corner. Downwind. At downwind. Uh, yeah. If you get bumped from the back from the car behind you. Like uh, when you do any salt yeah. flats, you have to get pushed. Well, that's usually when you open the door and start pushing with your feet. It'll start to go a little faster. <laughs> and I can tell you already how the brakes are because I don't oh, know. Big the... crash, first turn. Oh, that oh, was. Who was that? Brandis? Oh, no. Ooh, big crash. He went down. Yeah. What are you watching there, Rick? That was a big crash. 
We're watching uh, Iron Man race. Not to be confused with the Iron Man TT. Yeah, no, Iron Man uh, motocross from yesterday. We're watching it, but don't do that. Hey. What are we doing? So go show them the uh, old nitrous parts that came off the car that are scaring me tremendously. It works. What year are those from now? Oh, about 1984. Right. They did that old. So this was a mess. And we're fixing a lot of the wires too because uh, we don't like to use uh, these for nitrous systems. Let's just say that's no bueno. Hey, you know what they say? I don't know what they say. I'm they a little nervous. They say if it works, it works. Stupid. No, no. Definitely not using that. Um, so I got my, my solenoid set up and I already had it on my small block. So it's got the same, it'll mount. I got the purge valve, new purge valve. This is purge valve is from about, I, I think that's older than this, the kit. It's from 1970s. <laughs> Did they have nitrous in the 70s? That's like 50 years old. I don't know. It's starting to worry me. So <laughs> the, uh, we, we, had to, we had to take a, uh, a little excursion earlier. We had to go get a uh, car lift from someone I know that was giving me a old car lift. So I said, yes, please. So we'll be putting that one in eventually. Let's just say there was a, there was a couple of sketchy things on this. Uh, just a couple. Just a few. Just a couple. Oh. Especially the grounds. The way the thing was grounded. I'm a little nervous about that, too. I say... Don't worry about it till it breaks. That's exactly how you are. Or until we lose money on the race. Yeah, no, we don't want to lose money on races. Oh my it's definitely a smoother. Oh. These makeshift brackets that are made out of, I think, old beer cans. <laughs> what? Somebody outside. Might be broke. Should be thrown away in the garbage. Scary. Mm -hmm. Um. Uh, usually, your new one comes with everything. I know, but I'm saying, are we using the entire cable of it? Oh. Yeah, the, the sheathing. Um. I we got to see how that might be. Where? What's? What's? Yeah, what's? Uh. We'll cut it to the size of the other one. Yeah. We'll the size of the other one. Yeah. We'll just make it the same because it worked. I mean, we just have to make sure that we. Because it or her. Put it a little bit different. Yeah, I think this was Man, even the purge line is from 1965. Oh my God. That's leftover oil pressure line. What are you talking about? <laughs> when the like, fuel lines. They say that the cars that were just slapped together were the best running cars. And sure. The fastest running cars. Keep, keep telling yourself that. Just for how long? Man, what is... You gotta give me some credit, Dan. I'm sorry. Some. I didn't say every. All credit. Just give me some. I need to, I need to get like, into yeah. this. So Rick is like, yeah, I give you credit on the fact that you did a hack. You're a hack. I just, it's scary. There's some scary. Is it scary that it worked for so long? Yes. Or? Yes. That's the part that scares me. Even the, even the last time you went to the track, it worked. That, but you even said it yourself, the second stage hadn't worked. Yeah, no, the second stage hadn't worked. It hadn't worked in forever. Why would it slide back? No, no, slide back and up. Slide where? Back that way and then slide that part up. Are you sure it's not in this hole right here with the. Oh, yes, it is. I think it is. Damn yes, it. it is. Oh, no. That's, that's a good one screw. Oh, yeah, it's on screwing. What is that, one of the original bumper holes right there? Um, it might be. It looks like it's a threaded hole. Or am I having not welded on the other side? No, I welded a 
Oh, you welded a little. Oh, that's a good idea. Huh? I knew it. Oh my God, that's your starter solenoid hiding in there? Oh Jesus. It gets deeper. <laughs> oh Lordy Lord. Oh Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. Oh. I'm gonna pretend like I didn't see that. I'm looking away. This is me looking on Al's car. What else we gotta fix, Al? That's the best way to do it. Al, what, what else are we fixing? Everything, everything looks good. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. So you get, you get protecting so it doesn't arc out on the metal. Oh, that. Oh, yeah, I did pull rubber. Yes, you did. Yeah. Yes, you did. How okay. long have you had that throttle cable? So wait, don't cut it yet. I'll cut it. So we'll cut it with the. So it 20 years carry the one. Oh, geez. it's got to be a good. Yeah. 10 years. Oh. Yeah, I think 2013 was when the last time the cable snapped. Oh, so 11 years. <laughs> yeah. Um, was the last time it snapped? That's the last, that's a, that, yeah, I go by ages and how my how old my son is and. <laughs> the white mark. Yes. No, on the top, on the... Well, I'm gonna cut through. Where do you want it? Right there. Yeah. Right there. I just don't want it to fray. Yeah. That's a no nice. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, I'll cut it right. And she frays. That's a no nice. This is, just, like, this is adjustable. Pull this out. Take down the key out. The what? Now, see, that's the thing, too. You didn't use the one that comes with it. You used the plastic. On yours, you used no, that no. plastic end. No, it was just a. No, it wasn't. That's not the same. It was sitting in the plastic, which kept tweaking it. Ah, uh, okay, yeah, yeah. So we'll, we'll make that work. We well, I'm, I'm looking at the difference in, in the steel braided cable. Mm -hmm. Totally and different, isn't it? This is a low car. I think yeah. that one's like, well, was a Mr. Gasket yeah. type. This is like too big. It's almost like this is large, right? I don't know. Something's not right. This is this will be way smoother. Cause look at the we, line. This will be mo this is what we call more better. More better. And watch it not run. Like oh, it. stop it! Don't even say that. It'll run just fine. We're gonna put a real tune up in it too. Is it gonna be the take it easy tune, or is it gonna be? Put my depends on. Uh, it's gonna be the everything all at once because we're not taking any chances. We're gonna get this. Th Dude, look at the car. If this doesn't hook, we got problems. Uh, yeah. It, it, so wait, 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 what's that noise? It's... So what are you doing? Oh, you're gonna video my my butchery. So we're just doctoring up some of the wiring that Al had because he had a lot of mess. And I'm changing, well, we changed all the nitrous solenoids like we originally talked about, but I'm just, and yes, I'm using regular buck connectors with, I'll use heat shrink on them, but I'm, right now I'm, I'm just trying to get this all situated so we can be done with it and make it so it's functional. And that's really all I care about. Uh, I hate these things. I don't have any. Connection. I might have some. No, that's all right. I used to have the nice heat shrink ones. I just don't have any left. Wait, oh, you don't? Yeah. I got all these other ones, but I don't have any of the, the actual uh, butt connectors. These are all regular ends. Well, I take the steel out of them. That's what? Yeah, that's what I do. Take the steel out of them and then... Well, then heat shrink around it. Yeah. I heat shrink it anyways, just because of safety. So we figured out we were running a negative 125 horsepower. Nitrous no, no, you're not supposed to tell anybody that. Well, it was pulling 125 horsepower. Out of the end. Out of the end. Right, Rick? Sure. All right, so we uh, we got the starlet out of here, and uh, we couldn't really show you too much on that. Um, that was a wiring nightmare. I'm not going to say anything about anything else. 
But we are now moving on to a separate project. What are we working on? SSR 125. Oh, so somebody we know had this bike and it was a little banged up. So we fixed, we took it apart, had a little problem with the automatic uh, clutch. There was a shift lever in there that was bent. So it wasn't shifting through the gears, wouldn't run properly. So we ordered a few more parts and Ricky, AKA squints, just swapped out all the broken plastics by himself. So we got all new plastics, new gas cap, cause that was broken. Got a nice aluminum red. Uh, we had to order gaskets for the motor. We had to order pedals, uh, foot pegs. And that's not even the right pedal. For I know bike. the foot pegs were busted. Actually, the rear shock is blown out, so we have a new shock coming. We got to tighten up the chain. Yeah, we'll tighten the chain. Um, I was just checking this side because the shift lever was a little bent, but I think it'll be okay. I'm gonna doctor it up and make it work. But I got new gaskets coming after we fixed the shifting problem. But Ricky was working on it, taking it all apart, changing all the plastics. So now it's got all brand new plastics. And show the motor mount. Oh yeah, we gotta fix the motor mount. So the bolt somehow walked off on this motor mount, upper mount. So now we gotta just loosen the uh, the other yeah, the other mount. The motor's not even lined up. It'll we'll line it up and then we'll tweak it over. So, but it's a project. We're just more or less like a little fixer upper, and then it's a better sized bike than the one he has because he's got a smaller SSR. It's just a inexpensive. It's a seventy. The other one's a seventy. This is a one twenty five. So. It's a much better size bike for squints. And then a, I'll end up riding a little 70 as a pit bike just for fun, just to tool around on. Uh, but this is a good little bike. So we picked it up from a friend. They uh, rode it, beat, beat the living you know what out of it. And they sent it off jumps. It yes. shouldn't. No, they were jumping it off things and doing things they shouldn't have, and they were probably too big for it. And they were doing like a hundred so, foot hill climbs. Yes. And we also got a bend of Yeah, the the, the, the peg mount is bent also. This is bent down. So yeah, we're just waiting on the new gasket for the clutch cover, new gasket for the uh, electronics for the other side. Uh, I got to fix the exhaust, it's a little loose. We're going to clean the carburetor. We got a new air filter coming. Uh, mm -hmm. It does run. It actually did run. I was able to drive it around. Oh, and then we got but I, bent. Yeah, the, the brake lever's bent, but uh, I couldn't get it in and out of gear. It was like, it would not shift. Like no matter what you did, it wouldn't shift. Yeah, we had to use vice grips. Yeah, no, but even then it wouldn't shift. So then I realized something's going on inside the motor and it ended up being the little shift detent was damaged from probably when they landed on the shift shaft on one side, it got pushed in and it bent the lever on the other side, so. Nothing else looked damaged, so we fixed that. We just got to put it back together with new, new gaskets. Yeah, we definitely, definitely got to adjust that chain. There's a little bit of slop in that chain. Just a little. But Squints has been doing it all himself. So, nice job, bud. I figured I'd throw this in there. This is a quick little clip on our, uh, on our video we did. So we switched gears, Starlet's done. And we started messing around with Ricky's new uh, dirt bike. So, nice, right, bud? Yeah, squints approved. All right, well, enjoy the videos. Thanks for watching.